All right, so we're just out doing some prospecting. Uh, we're checking out a, a rock outcrop here. You got uh, brescia along with some uh, limestone, sandstone, and uh, you got quartz, calcite. You can see there's some quartz there. Uh, we have this area um, which has some oxidization coming out uh, where there's fractures, and we're gonna take some samples of this material and uh, see what comes out of that. You can see how it's uh, pretty heavily oxidized along this fracture zone here. You can see that this, uh, this used to be quartz touching against this. So I'll post these say results at the end of the video. So we're at another outcrop here. Uh, we're gonna take a sample from here. Uh, this is uh, near where you can find good placer gold in the soils. And uh, there's a couple old creeks that have uh, gold in it. So we're gonna sample this as well. This is also brescia. You can see very brittle. You can see uh, some oxides in there and some sulfides. So. We'll see it comes out of this as well. So for those of you who don't know what breccia is, breccia is a rock that is cemented together usually by um, a finer matrix, something like sand, and uh, it looks almost like uh, concrete. And uh, over time it's compressed and uh, forms rock. You can see that there's some uh, some oxidization in little areas here, uh, mainly where there's fractures, and uh, there's also a bit of sulfide stain. You can see all this calcite and almost looks like there's some uh, diatomaceous earth in there as well. So I don't know if you can see this here. Uh, you got fine little crystals, uh, quartz crystals. This area is near a uh, crystal quartz deposit as well. Okay, so we're at another outcrop here. Uh, to give you a good idea of uh, Brescia, you can see that right there. Looks like cemented rock, almost looks like cement. Again here. So you got uh, quite a bit of oxidization here. We're gonna sample, uh, we're gonna take a soil sample up above and see if we can get any uh, decent readings for anything. All right, so uh, one last thing I'd like to point out, we're at an area right now where there's a contact zone right here. So on your left hand side, and your right hand side are two completely different kinds of rocks. So one side you have conglomerate, the other side you have breccia. So the difference between breccia and conglomerate, your breccia is anything that uh, is cemented together and anything over two millimeters in size, you got uh, jagged edges, usually cemented together with a fine matrix, something like sand, silt, particles over time that's been compressed. And then you have your conglomerate. Very, very similar, almost identical. However, you can see all the cobble, all the round, almost looks like river rock. So those are the two main differences between breccia and conglomerate. One's jagged, one is not. Anyway, we're going to take a sample from here because uh, we have done a soil sample 
and we got a nice uh, reading in this area. So we're going to take something from uh, from this outcrop. You can see the difference between the two. One is a darker brown, almost a little bit rusty. The other is more gray. So uh, we'll take a sample from here. We'll post the results at the end of the video. And I hope everyone enjoyed the video. It's starting to snow pretty good out here. So we're going to head back and uh, get out of the snow. And stay tuned for the Patreon giveaway next. All right, so it's time for our first Patreon draw. We're going to do two uh, draws here. We have five small little pickers. It's about a gram. And then uh, we also have a 0.35 gram nugget. So what I'm going to do is I have a bucket here. And we're going to shake it up a little. I got all the names of our patrons in there and we're going to draw it at random. So. All right, so the winner of the gram is Chuck Preston. And the winner of the 0.35 gram nugget is Donnie Young. Alright, thanks everyone and uh, I'll contact you too on Patreon.